Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Annie's Kitchen. In today's edition, I'm going to be making salmon fish. It's going to be baked. So um, I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm going to use. Some of them I'll use fresh, some of them I'll use substitute, okay? So I have my red onion, this is my red onion, and I have garlic, it's all washed, uh, cleaned and cut. I have garlic, I have ginger, actually these are garlic uh, cloves, and this is ginger, I wash and slice it. And I have uh, green pepper, green bell pepper, and I have um, banana, uh, bell pepper and I have orange bell pepper and I have red bell pepper and here's my salmon it's all washed and skinless and I'm also going to add some parsley parsley uh, flakes I have uh, black pepper flakes also I have curry powder I have salt and this is onion salt and I have breadcrumbs I have uh, olive spray and I have olive oil so I'm going to start the cooking hello friends welcome to another edition of Annie's kitchen in today's edition we're going to be making a uh, baked salmon fish and these are my ingredients I'm going to mention them one by one so I have onion, and I have washed and sliced uh, ginger, and I have uh, garlic cloves washed and cleaned. I have green pepper, I have lemon, and I have um, yellow bell pepper, and I have orange bell pepper, I have red bell pepper, and of course I have my salmon. It's all cut and washed. I removed the skin, and I have uh, parsley flakes. I have black pepper, I have salt, I have a uh, curry powder, I have garlic onion salt, and I have my nuts which is cubes, and I have bread crumbs, I have um, olive oil spray for to prevent the fish from sticking to the pan, and I have olive oil, okay? So right now I'm going to be... Um, I have a little water in this uh, cylinder, so I'm going to put my onion in here because I'm going to blend it. The onion, the garlic, and the ginger. So I'm going to put them in here and I'll blend them. I'm going to use this blender right here. it up and 
and I'm going to slice the lemon so I'm going to squeeze it in mm, it has lots of juice okay so I'm gonna mix the whole thing So this is the sauce that I'm going to mix um, rub on the salmon before I start baking it. So meanwhile I'm going to turn on my oven to 375. I'm going to preheat it to 375. Uh, my actual cook time, I'm going to put it like approximately 45 minutes. I'm going to spray it really, really good. And, um, so if you look closely, let's see what I'm going to do here. This is my salmon. It's being dipped in my sauce. Actually, I don't want any of this sauce to be wasted, so I'm gonna pour it in here so that we can get the entire juice. Okay, so right now I'm going to wrap the salmon, I'm going to wrap it in this foil. So what I'm going to do is to uh, grab a little more foil because that one is not enough to actually wrap the whole thing. So I'm going to cover the whole thing so that this is like this in it. So it's going to be baked and very, very tender at the end of the day. And I don't want it to be dry. That's one of the main reasons I cover it so it won't be dry when it's all done. Okay. So now my oven is preheated. So I'm going to be making vegetables that will be used with the fish. You know, you can't just eat fish only. So it goes with veggies, and that makes it more palatable and appetizing. So right here, I have. Uh, I want. I know you were wondering what I will be using the peppers to do with the fish, but now I'm going to explain better for you. Uh, so I have right here. I have broccoli. It has carrot and it has green beans, and it also has um, some conical flour. So I'm going to be baking this thing also. Um, you know, everybody's trying to stay away from all fried fried food. So this is where the pepper comes in. So I'm going to be mixing it up. So. 
Yeah, I know some people do add regular pepper, like spicy pepper, so that um, maybe that's the distinctive uh, type of taste. So for me, it doesn't really matter. I'm not like a whole lot of pepper person. So that's why um, I use this and I have already um, already grinded dry pepper just in case. So this is garlic uh, onion salt. I'm just adding it. Okay, so right now I'm going to be making the vegetable that we use to eat the fish. So right here I have broccoli, cauliflower, the peppers that I showed you earlier, the bell peppers that I showed you earlier, and I have green beans, I have some carrots in it, and some um, squash. So, right here, I'm going to be adding some spices to it. This is onion salt, you know, you add to your taste, okay? And I'm also going to add some black pepper to this and a little bit of salt I'm not a salt fan so that's why I don't really do a whole lot of salt in my cooking and I also have curry powder I love curry a lot but I wish I could see the actual fresh curry I prefer that over the powdered one but in the absence of the other one you know we got to use what we can find handy over here Okay, so um, right here I have garlic salt, so I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt, and I also have my thyme, this is um, the flakes of our thyme, I'm going to sprinkle it all over it also, and I have... Uh, what is my parsley? Okay, here's my parsley. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley flakes also to this um, veggies. If you can follow me closely. So this is going to give it a very powerful, distinctive taste at the end of the day. So um, you're going to love it. So right now I'm going to add olive oil, you know, we don't want it to be greasy, at the same time we don't want it to be looking kind of boring, so that's why we're going to add this olive oil, this is extra virgin 100% olive oil, so uh, make sure you use good oil if you're going to add oil to your food, you know, again I'm a healthy cooking advocate, so that's why I'm preaching that we eat the right way. Uh, you know, do all you can in your position to stay healthy. Any other thing that comes afterwards, you know, it's just a natural occurrence. But just do your part. Now, I have the remaining uh, cube of nurse. I'm going to, that's the maggi. So I'm going to add it also. Then I'm going to I kind of um, mix it up so that the flavors can mix very well. Okay. So as you can see, I know some people might not like to use um, vegetable, uh, you know, the olive oil. You can also use spray if you prefer. So again, your individual preference matters a lot as long as it's healthy. Like I said, uh, you can use uh, olive oil spray to spray over your veggies. So at this time, I'm going to cover it with a foil because when you bake in it and it's not covered, it's going to dry up. Then when you cover it and bake, it's going to look fresh, very, very fresh and um, succulent. So that's why you always have to cover your bacon before you put it in the oven. Okay? Alright, so we're going to give it a couple of minutes also. Hello friends. So welcome back to the uh, continuation of Annie's uh, kitchen. So right now, we're going to check on our food the veggies and the salmon fish. So I'm going to go back to the oven to see how they're doing right now. Okay, so bear with me. Let me bring it all out. Woohoo! This looks so delicious. 
But right now, for the way I like my fish to look, I want it more dry and more firm. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually how I want my fish to be. Uh, I know some people want it this way when it's just this fresh and moist. And also for the breadcrumb, what you can do with the breadcrumb is to just uh, sprinkle it on top of it. It depends on how you want it. So I'm just going to do on two of them because my kids like the um, the breadcrumbs. So that's what I'm going to do only on two of them, just for them. Okay, so I'm just sprinkling breadcrumbs on the salmon. And I'm going to put it back into the oven for another 5-10 minutes. Okay, just for it to recite and cook. Okay, all right, so let me get to my meetings. I don't want to be burnt by the oven. Okay, all right. So let's look at the vegetables. We don't want our vegetables to be overcooked. Oh, yeah, the vegetables are really, really good. It's all cooked right now, so I'm not going to put it back in the oven. I'm just gonna let it stand for a couple of minutes. So let's check on our fish the final time. Try to get it out of the oven. All right, oh yes. I got it exactly how I wanted it to be. All right, so now we can dish. Here's the salmon so juicy not dry oh my goodness gracious look at it mm -mm -mm. wow what do you think thank you so much for watching another edition of Annie's cooking thank you so much I love you mm.